closure recognized on item number 64, Senate Bill 1699. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I do have a uh, person in the audience I'd like to have testify. If you'd like for me to, I'll let you know about this bill. There is an amendment on the bill that just changes the date. Let's get the bills properly in front of us. Uh, Senator Rose makes the uh, motion on uh, Senate Bill 1699, and uh, Senator White seconds it. Uh, the amendment is drafting code 12736. Is that correct? You want to explain the amendment, and we'll get it on the bill? Yes, I, I've got drafting code 013322 but I may have the wrong amendment on it. Let me... We're checking it out. Which one's right? You've got what? Same thing? Huh? 12736. The dashboard has uh, 12736. Okay, and if I'm, if you don't mind, Mr. Chairman, let me ask uh, Walker, this, this just changes the date on that, is that correct? Okay, that's all it does. It just okay. changes the date. I've just got the wrong number down. Okay. So, okay, thank you. We've got the bill properly in front of us. Uh, let's get the amendment on it, which changes the date from what to what? Change the date to an earlier time, uh, July 1st, 2024. Okay. You've heard the amendment. All in favor of the amendment, say aye. Aye. Opposed, nays, ayes have it. Okay, as uh, we have the bill in front of us as amended, I'm changing the date. Uh, do you have a witness that you would like to call up or do you want to describe what it does first and then we'll go to the amendment? So yes, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Wait, uh, we got, uh, Chairman Lumberg has a question. Uh, not a question, Mr. Chairman, just a clarification because the amendment says the act takes effect upon becoming law, so not July 1st. I just wanted to clarify that. Mr. Chairman, I do not have that amendment correctly in front of me, so if that is what it says, I'm, if that's, that's good, I'm good. Okay. Okay. Good. All right. Thank you. Mr. Chairman, this bill, if passed, would allow victims to obtain a lifetime order of protection. Normal orders of protection only last a year typically, which means that the victims have to renew it yearly. Uh, and a lifetime restraining order rids them of that burden. Uh, this Lifetime order of protections are already available for a narrow set of convictions, and this bill seeks to add aggravated stalking, especially aggravated stalking and felony harassment to that list. And with that, Mr. Chairman, that is the explanation of the bill, and I would appreciate a favorable vote and would also like to have our guests come up and testify, please. All right. Uh, we've heard an explanation of the bill as amended. We have a Nikki. How you pronounce it? Rose, is she here? Oh, there she is. Thank you. Come on up and uh, correct what I butchered up on your last name. But we're going to go out of session. Thank you. Make sure that red light is on and bring that mic close to you. You have three minutes. We'll recognize. We'll signal you when you have thirty seconds left. Thank you, Mr. Chairman and members of the committee. Uh, my name is Nikki Goser. I was the sole witness to testify before the legislature in 2021 in favor of the original Lifetime Order of Protection Bill, which all of you passed unanimously and is now law. I want to thank you all so very much. Um, I was the first Tennessean to actually be granted that Lifetime Order of Protection. My husband, Ben, was brutally murdered in front of me by a man who was stalking me. My stalker went on to continue stalking me from prison by using the United States Postal Service to send me twisted love letters for many years. He has since been convicted of federal felony stalking on top of his murder conviction. Um, but unfortunately, my stalker is currently set to be released from Tennessee State Prison in 2030. A violent and obsessed madman is actually going to be released. This is absolutely terrifying for me. 
It was through my own experience that I discovered that protection orders required annual renewal, which requires that victims provide evidence of some new threat. The most generous extension to these orders of protection were anywhere from three to five years for extreme cases. I felt that there were some situations that are so traumatizing and so severe for victims that a lifetime order of protection should be an option. There are other victims in our state that need this same lifetime order of protection. And I am here to give a voice to those other victims who are fearful and needing your help. I hope that you will vote in favor of Senator Rose's lifetime order of protection expansion bill. Like he said, the bill expands the eligibility for filing a petition to obtain the lifetime order of protection to include victims of aggravated stalking, especially aggravated stalking and felony harassment. This bill does support due process as the offender must be convicted first. The victim can then petition the court where a judge will make the decision to grant or reject based on the facts. For victims of these horrifying stalking crimes, this specific order of protection takes a great deal of extra stress burden, time, and costs off of them. These victims have already been through enough. This legislation is very much needed for those of us who have been terrorized. Myself and other victims of these crimes would greatly appreciate your support of this legislation. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, any questions or comments from the audience? I mean, from the panel. Senator Rose, you're recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And I just want to thank you for being here and bringing this to our attention. Obviously, a, a, my opinion, for sure your opinion, excellent bill, one that we need. And I'm really sorry for what has happened to you that has precipitated you being here, but thank you for coming and sharing with us. Thank you. Any other comments or questions from the panel? I see none to my right. I see none to my left. Thank you for coming and uh, sharing this with us. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. We're back in the session. Any comments or questions on Senate Bill 1699 by Senator Rose? Down here, Senator Lamar. Thank you, Ms. <clears throat> Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, my question is to the sponsor. Uh, I'm reading this, and it says it's able to include simple forms of harassment, then aggravated stalking, and especially aggravated stalking. With the harassment case, um, what... With individuals who may have been found guilty of harassment by someone ex-lover who was trying to be facetious, could they potentially be wrapped up in this? It's Rose. I will respond that if the judge grants it, yes. Mr. Moore. Is there a process for someone who has been uh, falsely accused of harassment, even if the judge, the evidence was so strong uh, that they presented, but it wasn't true. Is there a form, is there a process for them to get this taken off their record? Senator Rose. I don't, I don't know if we could go in recess and ask legal to respond. I would appreciate it. Thank we you. Can, we can do that. Uh, we'll go out of session and ask uh, legal to weigh in on it. Elizabeth and Sonia Legal Services, just in response to your previous question, Senator Lamar, um, this is only felony har harassment. There are there is also class A misdemeanor harassment, which is not covered by the lifetime orders of protection. So felony harassment is when a person who was convicted of a criminal offense um, and is currently incarcerated on pretrial diversion, probation, community correction, or parole intentionally communicates in person with the victim of the previous crime and the communication is anonymous or threatening or made in offensively repetitious manner for no legitimate purpose and knowing that it will alarm or annoy the victim. So it's a little bit different than I think what the situation okay. you were just That's perfect. Thank you. Is it? Okay, we're back in session for Senator Lamar, you're recognized. You through? Okay. Any other comments or questions? I see none from my left, none from my right. Would you like a vote or you want to close? Let's vote. Madam Secretary, take the roll. Senator Kyle, votes aye. Senator Lamar, votes aye. Senator Lemberg, votes aye. Senator Roberts, votes aye. Senator Rose, votes aye. Senator Stevens, 
Votes aye, Senator Taylor. Aye. Votes aye, Senator White. Aye. Votes aye, Chairman Gardenhire. Aye. Votes aye, Chairman, you have nine ayes. Thank you, uh, Senator Rozier. Bill goes to calendar.